Hey everybody, this is Gabriel Tallball, and I've got the update for Naya Hospital uh, for, the month of, for the month of January 2023. So Naya is a, a private general hospital that focuses on uh, low-cost care. Um, it's founded by Magdalene Lebibanya, a midwife of 30 years who, who was working in, working in the UK, and um, who was working in the UK for 30 years. And um, they've been operating since May 2022, and... It originally, was it was conceived as a children's hospital, a children and maternity hospital, but it's been turned into a general hospital, with I guess with a favor towards a, a maternity ward and children, because the, the general care here, the medical care in, in this region in Sierra Leone is so bad, so uh, they need all the help they can get, and Magdalen has the skills uh, to really, to really deliver. Um, so what happened this month? Uh, we successfully, Magdalene received three ultrasound machines from the UK, and um, she only needed two, so she, this month, uh, the Orthodox Mission came and picked up the third one. Uh, the Orthodox Mission in Sierra Leone has a, two free clinics that they offer free medicine to, whoever comes in their door, and um, they, they're using that mach ultrasound, ultrasound machine to actually train uh, people. They've got like a class of eight students. Um, to in order to um, train them how to use this ultrasound machine, so they're, they're right off, right off from the get go, they're putting this thing to use, um, and of course they can you can use it for whatever medical purposes they need uh, when the need arises. But when it's not being used, you know it's being used to educate. It's just fantastic to see, uh, uh, just to fantastic to see the synergy happening here. Um, what else? We called. I managed to get a call with Victoria at Health and Help, who has a you know medical organization. In, that that's, uh, runs in Guatemala, and the conversation was very good. Um, Magdalene wants to get a foreign doctor, foreign trained doctor here in Sierra Leone, but you know we don't know we don't have the infrastructure in place for HR. So Mag, so Victoria has agreed to help us. Now this is the first first conversation we had with her since the hospitals opened, and she was very impressed with what they've done so far. You know, 20, 20 deliveries. Uh, baby deliveries, uh, 20 surgeries, no infection, you know, um, and she offered to give a, additional assistance and I guess uh, advice at how for Magdalene can run this hospital because at the moment she's doing it by herself and that's not really possible to do long term. So we're looking at uh, some structural, we got to look at some structural, some structural methods how to make sure that I can run, run, uh, in its capacity as a charity hospital, a low-cost hospital. Um, and I think Victoria will be a great asset for that. So for now, Magdalene is traveling to UK to handle some business and I think see some contacts there and see what they can do in, 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 in terms of fundraising. And um, at the moment, she has left her friend, um, Lucy, who was trained with her as a midwife uh, 30 years ago here in, in Sierra Leone. Um, and so the hospital is in good hands for now while Magdalene is away and hopefully uh, once she gets back we can we can really get to work on seeing what the long-term vision of this hospital is because we've been we see that it's been successful for the last eight months and it just needs a way to support itself in, our, in, a, in a sustainable manner so things are looking good thank you very much